Welcome to GT7 News with your host, Go Gretty. In August, we have the update 1.36 out, along with the special promotion due to the new Gran Turismo 7 movie. In fact, if you just click on that icon in the upper left-hand corner and watch the preview to the movie, you will get a 2018 Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 in the special Gran Turismo livery that is seen in the movie. And all you have to do is watch the trailer. So definitely do that and you get a nice new free 2018 Nismo GTR. Another nice new feature added to our world map is the viewers campaign. This is where you can watch the live stream of the Gran Turismo Manufacturers Cup or the Gran Turismo Nations Cup and you can win a six star roulette ticket for watching that Manufacturers Cup or a 2021 Toyota High Medic Ambulance for watching the Nations Cup. And fret not, you do not have to watch it live. You just gotta get that viewing in before August 20th to get those two prizes. Next is the bonus campaign. On the bonus campaign, you are given the opportunity to pick the winner of the Manufacturers Cup as well as the Nations Cup. And for each one that you get correct, you get one million in credits. So choose wisely, think about it a lot because each one of those correct picks is gonna be worth a million credits. Also due to that new Gran Turismo movie, a time trial has been added to sport mode at the Red Bull Ring in that 2018 Nismo GTR. So take it on track, get within 3% of the top time, and you'll take home another cold, hard 2 million in credit. So get out there and get your 2 million. In addition to the high medic ambulance, this update gave us the 1958 C1 Chevy Corvette for 126,000 credits. You can find that in the Legends dealership, and if you ask me, that is one heck of a bargain, so go pick it up before it's gone. The third of the four cars added in this update 1.36 is the Maserati 2020 MC20, and this is quite a little pocket rocket. For $300,000, it's not a bargain buy, but I tell you what, it is an incredible car to drive. I personally really like this Maserati, so if you got the credits in the bank, I strongly suggest picking up the Maserati MC20. And for the last car, go to sport mode, go to the Toyota Gatsu Racing GT Cup, and that is where you'll find the fourth car that was added to the game, and that is the GR Corolla Marizzo Edition. That's the 2022 right here. It is not available to be purchased in Brand Central just yet, but it will be soon. However, you will be gifted a version if you enter the Toyota Gatsu Racing Cup and put some points in the bank. So enter a race, put some points in there, and then you'll get your free Toyota GR Corolla. Now, if you head on over to the cafe and go to the extra menus, we were given three new extra menus with this update. Extra menu number 26 with the Maserati. And that will result in a six star roulette ticket if you collect all three, which I did, so I have them right here. Beautiful new photo added to the album. But that was not the only extra menu. We also got extra menu number 27, Aston Martin. That gives you a six star roulette ticket. So complete that, you'll get your six star roulette ticket and yet another photo to add to the wall. The third and final extra menu added in update 1.36 is for the key cars. Collect all three and you get yet another photo for your collection along with a four-star roulette ticket. Now, if taking photographs in Gran Turismo 7 is your passion, you'll be excited to see we got a new skate, which is the fire station. So you can go in there with your new ambulance, drop it into all these scenes and, well, take some stunning photographs of your new emergency equipment. With update 1.36, we also got four new races added to the world circuits. First one I'm going to show you is at Michelin Raceway Road Atlantis, the Sunday Cup 600. All you got to do is pick a U.S. make car under PP600 and send it. I decided on the Corvette C8. Boy, that was a good choice as I made easy work of the competition to grab my first place trophy. The second event added brings us to Europe and Dragon Trail Gardens. 
go to the Hypercar Parade, and that's where you can try out your new Maserati MC20. Fantastic car on this course. Throw some racing softs on it and send it. Plenty of power, plenty of speed, plenty of grip. Really nice turning. Enjoy this car thoroughly. Like the balance of the car. You could really catch it in a slide. And you could really send it on those corners. So if you haven't tried it, I strongly suggest for this race, you grab it, you throw on some racing soft tires, and you give it a go because it's worth a first place trophy and $95,000 in credit, which means if you race it four times, it'll pay for the Maserati anyway. So go for it. I think you'll enjoy it. Just north of Dragon Trail is the Red Bull Ring, and you'll find another hypercar parade. That is our third race added to the world circuits. And for this race, I chose again the Maserati MC20. I liked it so much in the previous race, I decided to give it another go here at the Red Bull Ring, and it was plenty of car for the task. Enough top end to keep up with the big boys, but so much cornering in those technical sections, it was able to breeze on by them with that combination of Maserati handling and those racing soft tires. So give it another try here at the Red Bull Ring. See if you like it. See if you can put them in the old rear view mirror and grab your $90,000 in credit and first place trophy. The fourth and final event added in 1.36 takes us to japan in the high speed ring that is where you'll find the world touring car 800 800 pp race 20 laps 6x fuel 4x tires and well you're gonna have to figure out where you want to pit stop or if you do want to pit stop i went out on softs in the 2018 nismo gtr that new livery we got with the grand trismo movie decided one to put that car out on track for this race against the other gt3 cars worked out pretty well i ran 10 came in for fuel and a fresh set of soft tires came back out on track around 13th place or so and was able to work my way right back up to first without too much trouble i think that strategy will work out for you if you give it a go if not maybe try the no stopper on hards not sure I guess rain is always a possibility at high speed ring, so maybe you'll get rain in your race. I didn't happen to get any in mine, but you never know with these races in the World Touring Car 800. So good luck. Hope you win it. If you do, you get 160,000 credits and, of course, the first place trophy. Now, if automotive history and sim racing history is something that really interests you, you'll be happy to hear an update 1.36. These brands have been added to the museum. BAC got a museum put into their section of Brand Central, and Fanatec also got a museum added to it in its section of Brand Central on Gran Turismo. So you can go into either of those and check out the history of both of those companies and how they contributed to both auto sports and e-racing. Hope you enjoy that. After looking through all the details of Update 1.36, there were four remaining that stood out to me as something that you would probably like to hear about. One is interaction with characters. You've enjoyed that interaction with the characters. They added seven new characters. That's five designers and two characters that you can access with certain cars in the garage. To find that list of characters and cars, go to www.grand-turismo.com. Go to the new section, go to update 1.36 in the details under section 5 cafe. You'll see a list of those cars and characters. Also, if you're really into engine swaps, there are five new cars with available engine swaps. Again, you can find that list at www.grand-turismo.com in section 6. Now, GT Planet also on their form, their GT7 form, keep a running list of cars and engines that can be swapped. So that is an excellent place to go and find that list of cars and engines. Also for the World Circuits, very interesting little feature was added there in the information section. A small eye appears in the lower left hand corner of the screen. If you click on that little eye, it will give you the recommended car or manufacturer, which is pretty darn cool. Finally, another level was added to the radar so that we can try and predict which tire we need to be on when the rain is coming in. So a fifth level has been added to the radar weather map on your heads up display. So hope you enjoyed this update. Hope you enjoyed this news. If you did, hit the like and or subscribe. Come back, check out some more of the action. For myself, Go Gretty, y'all have a great evening.